Please welcome with me on stage Raman Ganguly, who is the task leader for awareness creation and collaboration of the European project EuroCC Austria. He is a member of the University of Vienna and he is the head of IT support for research. And since 2011, he has devoted his energy to data preservation and data governance from data to research and education. He is a member of several national and international projects and consortiums. Today, he will introduce EuroCC Austria, which is a part of the um, European EuroCC project that aim to support companies, research institutes and the public sector in the field of high performance computing, support big data analytics and artificial intelligence. Welcome, Raman. Hello. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for the introduction. Um, so, thank you. Oops. Where I got the presentation? Oh, no, here it's okay. Um, yes, so I will give you a short overview over the project uh, EuroCC, EuroCC, what's about. So it's about um, high performance computing and high performance computing can help you in your um, startup life and then when you have a simulation or when you have a big data analysis. So if you want to use um, huge infrastructure which can analyze uh, a, a huge amount of data. So what's behind the uh, EuroCC and Euro, uh, EuroCC Austria? So this is the structure. So it's an, a, a big effort, so it's an European-wide effort. So in the background there is uh, Euro HPC joint undertaking. Uh, this is a big initiative uh, from the European level to uh, build up high-performance computer infrastructure. And um, behind this, or in cooperation with this, is the European Commission. And from this out, they are started uh, two projects. One is Castiel and the other is EuroCC. Castiel is a supporting project and EuroCC is about uh, this, what I will present today and uh, they will uh, build or they are building national competence center for um, HPC, for high performance computing, for AI and big data analysis. So uh, the, the broader band is that the European Commission have three main projects, three main uh, funding streams where they are funding uh, digital uh, innovation in Europe. So this is all about uh, between science and research and the economy. So there's the Horizon Europe project, there's the Digital Europe project, and the Connection Europe. From these funding streams, uh, you can also participate when you are uh, working with us, so we can help you to, to participate here in some funding streams. So what is now the EuroCC? Uh, there's the joint undertaking. What are, this is the big thing, what's in, in, in Europe. There are 30 countries in Europe which are part of the uh, joint undertaking. From this, this is this EuroCC. So there are then 33 national, uh, 33 um, countries where there will be built this national competence center. And uh, then this is now the Austrian focus and the Austrian part. This is uh, EuroCC Austria. And uh, we have um, several initiatives and this is funded till uh, the end of the year. So we started in the year uh, 2020. This has been funded for uh, two years. And in these two years, uh, we have built all the infrastructure for this uh, national competence center. So what is the focus of the competence center? The target group are academics, uh, the industry and the public administration. So also to have a link of all between them and <clears throat> to bring the idea, the information more about this HPC to all the three uh, target groups. 
The service is also to mapping and to see what's happening in Austria at the moment and also to reporting them to the European level so you get a big, a good picture about what's happening in whole Europe. Uh, and on the other side is to help uh, academia, to help the industry and startups uh, if they want to use HPC infrastructure. So what is, <clears throat> who are behind the Austrian part? Behind the Austrian part there are, <coughs> sorry, um, behind the Austrian part there are uh, some universities which are already running HPC infrastructure, so the Vienna um, the VSC, uh, the Vienna Scientific Cluster. So this is the TU, uh, TU Vienna, this is the University of Vienna, this is um, the BOKU and other universities uh, in, in Austria, in Graz, in Innsbruck, also in, in Linz, so they're joining together and uh, working in this EUROCC network. So what is our services? So we help you if you want to participate in, uh, in a European project. We help you writing proposal. And also we are mapping all the things, what's happening around HPC and AI and big data analysis in Austria and to see who can help you with some different topics. And we are also organizing training, so if you're new to this topic, you can also, uh, we can also uh, provide you with some trainings that you can use this infrastructure. How we do this, we do also um, participate in events like this, but also um, organizing some events. Uh, we are linking the, the academic and the industry together and we facilitate also the HPC infrastructure. So that was very brief what we are doing and what HPC, uh, EuroCC is about. And uh, if, you have, uh, if you want to get more information, you can go to our website. This is uh, eurocc-austria.at and also you can reach us uh, with via email as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Raman. Um, if anybody has any questions, please raise your hand. If not, you can also approach him uh, later today to talk with him. But I actually have a question for you. Um, do you have any examples how you as EuroCC Austria actually helped companies or startups? Uh, yes, we already have uh, some um, uh, some projects, uh, some companies which we help with projects, especially to join the European program, to join uh, funded uh, programs in the funding streams. You can also see uh, three uh, success stories, what we have done uh, the last years uh, on our website. So, uh, for example, the company Reintrieb or the company Telsit. So you can read more on the website. Very cool. And uh, you said that the, the project phase of EUROCC is actually, you know, ending in 2022. Do you know if there's a new funded project phase uh, starting from 2023 on? Uh, yes, uh, there's a, we are now submitting a new proposal and they will also join the whole, uh, all this 33 uh, national competence center in the next project phase. So we will submit this by end of this month and we are very sure that we will get funded for the next three years. So we have uh, good signs from the commission already that we will get funded. And then we have another three years where we can help you. All right, thank you very much for that short and uh insightful presentation. Thank you very much.